Okay, here we go. I just replanted a bunch of weeds. Just restocked on mushrooms. Now I just gotta wait for these to grow. Uh, and my adventurer has returned once again. So let us see what he has while we're waiting for that to finish up. Uh, a plain sword, candles, uh, just another stone lane and stuff like that. So what's the also another rock mace? Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. So let's send him out again. I will loot his stuff. I'll put it out on the sh on the shop floor. Then I will open up for the day. This should be back to either spring, I think. This should be spring. Uh, and then I will get back to shopping. And, uh, not shopping, selling stuff on the streets in front of my shop. And hopefully we get a thief this time. So we can take a look at the thief barrier and see what it, exactly it, it is do, it what exactly it is that it does. Uh, if I can actually get the words out of my mouth. Uh, ooh, here we go. Bop. So let's open up for day 31. It is spring! Look at this! It's actually spring! There are flowers in the trees! The trees actually have leaves again! I mean, it's weird that the leaves stuff, leaves and all this stuff just sprouts directly from the trunk of the tree. There's no limbs or anything, it's just a stick. Uh, unless this is one of those artificial tree things. Maybe the town council installed these artificial trees and just plunk them on top and just take the stuff off of them and redo them every uh, season just to give the impression that we have uh, flowering trees. Maybe that's why all these potted plants are so expensive. Maybe these are the last real plants in the world. That's why they cost 5,000 gold. Because all the other plants have been destroyed by some massive cataclysm. And the only thing we have are these cheap plastic trees to look at. Oh, damn you, Wunzler. You destroyed it all. Oh, maybe that's where we are. Thneedville. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, artificial flowers painted on the floor. I don't know. Uh, oh, I forgot. I did not repair, did I? Did I repair? Looks like I did. Uh, did I? Oh, I did not. I did not repair everything. Ah, so let's get back to repairing. I think I need to make some more swords, which means I need to dump some more stuff into uh, the grinder so I can make some more flaming swords while I'm out here. Because uh, I did have a few more that I dumped up here, but I am not completely restocked on them. And it seems like everyone, everyone and their uncle, aunt, and nephew, and their next door neighbor's second cousin twice removed, on the ground, young man. all want one of my flaming swords, my delicious, wonderful flaming swords. Ah, uh, and I also need to redo the quest, so I need to put another quest up. One second. Another quest, which means another weed quest. There we go. Uh, oh, do, did I grab anything? Do I have any mirror on me? I might have to just dump some in there really quick. No, I don't. Okay, let us dump a bunch of mana potions. Uh, let me grab up all the junk out of here, and I'll dump a bunch of mana potions. There we go, 25 mirror. That should be enough. Hopefully that's enough to make a bunch of these flaming swords. Because I seem to be using a lot more of them than I do the wands. Or at least I'm selling more of them than I am the wands. Uh, doesn't appear like I've had any thieves yet, or if I have, uh, it just incinerated them completely instead of uh, leaving a pile of corpse or something. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I have not seen it work yet. So let us get this down on the table. Bop. And then I fill up my flaming swords again. Look at this. All this flaming stuff here. You would think it would be a fire hazard. At least I would think it would be a fire hazard. I mean, these things are made of wood. These weapon racks, they're made of wood with little caps of metal, and they're holding a friggin' flaming sword. You would think that would be dangerous. But I'm a shopkeeper. What do I care? I don't have to pay anyone. It's not like I have to buy uh, insurance for my employees. I'm the only employee here. There's no health and safety inspecting my place. There's no one in here telling me how to run my business. This is my business. If I want to have flaming swords sitting on wooden racks out in the middle of a shop made out of wood, which is another thing. My entire shop's made out of wood. And look at that. Did you see that? 
Did you see that? That was friggin' hilarious right there. Oh. Oh. It killed him. Ooh. But look at that. The re it, it, that's what it was. I was right. That green bar is the zapper. That is the zapper. But it has a fairly long cooldown. Look at that. It's going to take forever to recharge. Ugh. Okay. Well, I need to get back to selling. But first, I also want to go check out and see what, uh... Mr. Sir What's-His-Face has, because he just came back. So let's go see what he has, then I'll get back to selling. I uh, might try and make a few more swords, because holy crap, is that awesome. Uh, so plain sword, he got me a torn page, a stone, a stone wand? Ooh, a stone wand, very nice. So what's the boss loot this time? Gold-plated helm. Very nice. Let's give him a few more healing potions and send him back to the mountain range. Because it appears that is a good place for him. And look at this thing. The stone wand. Let's up the price on it a little bit. And then I will stick this down in here. It does look odd. I mean, all the other wands are kind of uh, bent or shaped oddly. Aside from the basic wand. But this one... This one looks awesome. It kind of looks like an umbrella. A closed umbrella. Huh. Very odd, but nice. Uh, I'm not going to complain about how much it's worth. That's for damn sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me clean up a little bit, and then I will get back to selling stuff. Oh, did you see that? Ah, oh, I was just there at the right time. It creates these little golden bars that just blast them. And there's not even a corpse left over. There's nothing to clean up. I just have to come here and pick up the item that was just stolen from me. So, very... Ooh! Liquid Mirror. I actually need some of that. Uh, there we go. So, yeah. The Thief Barrier. So worth the wait. So worth the price. So worth the points. Uh... So yeah, very, very nice. I am happy with that purchase. I am happy with that singular thing I just bought. Because, holy crap. I mean, the recharge time might take forever, but damn it. It means I don't have to be here all the time watching my shop. And I think there is another upgrade for it that will cut down that recharge time a little bit more. Which means I will be able to go into the back. I'll be able to do some gardening when I need to. I'll be able to leave my stuff unattended. For the most part. And not have to worry about idiots like this. Uh, it does mean I won't get nearly as many uh, bones and stuff like that for my shop. But it doesn't seem to be that big of a problem. Because I do get bones when I buy stuff from people. So I can always grind those up. So yeah, let's see what this guy has. See what he got this time? A crystal dagger. Very nice. Uh, weed and nothing really all that much. Oh well. Let's give him a few more. Send him out again. See if we can get him up to level 5. And then maybe I'll think about sending him to the next tier of area. Huh. Ooh. I forgot to check. How many more weeds do I need to sell? Because apparently... Weeds are in high demand today, and people are actually coming in to buy them directly. So I just need 12 more. Not too bad. I mean, I've got all of the evening to sell this, so not too worried. Though, uh, the fact that the mages and stuff are coming in to buy them directly means that I, they're not buying the other stuff that I could have sold to them. And then sold them on the weed on the way out, like this one right here. She bought the weed, which means I can't just sell her an extra weed. Oh, and double down on my sales. Damn it. Kind of sad. But, at the same time, they are coming in to buy it. So, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's just restock a little bit. I mean, look at this. I have completely sold out of weed on the shelf. Having to restock completely like this. First time I've had to do this in a while. Mainly because I usually sell directly to the people as they're coming out. Uh, but still, nice. I'm not complaining about selling out. Uh, I am a complete sellout. But yeah, that's kind of the whole point. I'm a shopkeeper. I'm supposed to sell out. And it looks like somebody just bought that awesome stone wand I got. Uh, very nice. Warrior. Warrior. 
You see, they're all just buying my weeds. They're all buying my weed, which is nice and all, but it also means... Ah, oh, look at this. She bought the sword. Not the sword, the umbrella. That weird umbrella-shaped wand. Uh, okay. Liquid bone. Very nice. What? Uh-oh. Did... Did they just say barbarians? I think they just said barbarians. Barbarians? Come on, you guys! We have... I just sold you some nice, beautiful, flaming swords. Use them! Don't run away like cowards! Come back, you cowards! Use that sword I just sold you! If there's barbarians coming, come on, come back here and defend your local shopkeeper from them. Come on, I know you want to help. I wonder if the thief barrier is going to stop them. Boom! Die, you bastards! Die! Die! Oh, yeah! Die! Oh, no! I, I think they killed it, or I did. I might have actually killed my own thing there. No, you stupid rat, go away! Ah, oh. no. No, they killed it! No, my pedestals! From way from the beginning! Oh, no! These were the pedestals! Oh, no, my rock! They killed my rock! You! You tattooed bastard, you! Oh, can I even pick you up? Yes, I can. And I'm gonna dump you and your tattooed buttocks directly into the grinder. Hopefully I get something good out of it. Uh, probably not, though. I mean, he was holding a sword. You'd think I'd get some metal out of it. But apparently not. Oh. Okay, let's pick up the rock. Let's pick up the dagger. Oh, these were the pedestals I've had since the beginning. Those bastards. They just destroyed them. No regard for that. Those were historical pedestals right there. They were there since the beginning. Since the beginning of shopkeep. Since the beginning of my shop. And now they're gone. They're gone! And they're never coming back. Well, I'll probably rebuild them. But it won't be the same. It just won't be the same. Oh, ho, ho. can you believe those evil barbarians did that to me? Oh, not well. Oh, well. I've got 55 seconds to sell a few more of these weeds. Hopefully I can get them sold. Uh, did the zapper work at all? No. It didn't even zap them. I guess because they're not thieves. They're just there to destroy stuff. They don't care about stealing anything. They just want to destroy. They don't care about building up. They just want to tear down. They're just monsters like that. And I got that request reward. Very nice. Uh, I don't even need to sell to you right now, so I'm not going to. Oh, but yeah. So we got 120 points here. Uh, what else can we do? 200, actually. I could get the cooldown on that cut down by three. Or... I could open up rogues. Let's open up rogues. There we go. And I could also open up uh, tier 2 warriors. That could be useful. Let's do that. Let's just open up tier 2 warriors. And then we might be able to get some new stuff sold. In fact, uh, well, first off, let me go through, check out what's in the trash. Pick everything up. And then I will clean up a bit, maybe replace those pedestals, and then see what it is new we can buy. Well, actually, let's do that first. Uh, what is new here? Well, arrows, I'm guessing that's from the rogue. Plate helm, I can finally buy helmets. So once I get tier 2 of uh, mages and druids and stuff, I can buy helmets for them. Oh, look at this, plate gloves. We can actually buy plate gloves now, and plate chest pieces. I might use that second room as a place for all the plate stuff. Plate boots. Two-handed swords. Very nice. Very nice. Plate shoulder guards. Frost axe. Oh, look at all this stuff. And belts. Leather belts. Plate belts. Oh, I'm going to have to buy a bunch of this stuff. But yeah, oh, I'm going to have to get a bunch of that stuff in a moment. But first, we need to get back to searching through all the trash cans. Wait a minute. Does that say what I think it says? I think it does. Necromancer gloves? Really? There are necromancers? Oh, 
I've been joking about necromancers. Every time those mages would come through, I was joking about maybe necromancers showing up. But necromancer gloves? That means there might actually be necromancers in this game. Meaning, maybe I can make a profit on all those skeletons. No! I should have been stockpiling them instead of grinding them up. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and build a little bit more in here. Because I think it might be a good idea to build a couple more tables. Uh, in fact, I need to replace these two pedestals. Uh, actually, three pedestals. I'm not really sure why. I just want to. Because these things have been here since the beginning. And I want them to be here forever. Bop. Even though they only hold one item and they take up more room than they're really worth. I want them to be here. Simply because... Oh, let's move this one over, actually. There we go. No. Right about here. There. Okay. Okay. Okay, wait. What? No. Right about here. There. Bop. Okay. Let's put... I, I think I want to do is have... Like, this room be the plate and swords and stuff like that, I think. So I need a couple of these. Uh, pop. Let's, uh, what does the arrow mean? Does that mean the facing, the where it's supposed to be out and sold to? So let's put one here. Kind of like what I did with the other room. Uh, more or less. So, bop. And then I'll put an armor stand right about here well maybe I'll put one here well the right about here and then I can put a hat rack right here and is there room here for a hat rack maybe just barely enough ah let's put a hat rack right about here and then I'll put another table. Because holy crap, I've got 60,000 gold. Who would have guessed I would have that much gold this far in? Uh, okay, and I'll put another one of these right about here. Uh, maybe not right there. Oh. Okay, I don't want to cover up the windows. So... Ooh. Ah, oh, this sucks. I can't... It doesn't really line up with this wall. Why does this wall have to be shaped like this? Why? Ah. Oh. Okay. Well, let us put... The armor stand right here. In the middle of the room. Kind of a bit different from how I have the, uh... Ones in the opposite room. Bop. There we go. And then I'll have a row of... I think... Maybe... Uh, hmm. There. I'll have these here. Or at the very least, I'll have... This... this, and uh, this. And then I can have something else, like a hat rack. Maybe save it for something like that. Uh, maybe another row of sword stuff here. Here we go. Right here. For more weapons. I have a feeling I'm going to need even more room for weapons here. This is going to be my weapon area, my armor area, and that kind of stuff. Okay. Aha. Very nice. And then I can put, like, another hat rack or something here. Maybe a robot dock once I get them unlocked. So, ah, oh, this is going to be so good. Okay, let's buy up a bunch of this stuff. I'm going to need tons of these plate belts. Let's buy up, like, 50, or at least 30-ish, 40-ish. 
leather belts for our roguish friends. Uh huh. And a bunch of these axes. And a whole bunch of other stuff. All this plate stuff. This is going to be so nice. So friggin' nice. Ah. Okay, here we go. Look at all that wonderful stuff. All this plate gear. And the adventurer has just returned for yet another huge amount of stuff. Holy crap, I could actually upgrade all of his armor. I could give him a full plate chest piece right here. Boom! There you go. Upgraded plate gloves. There you go. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Very nice. So, let's give him a full complement of healing potions. I don't think I'm going to send him out again. Premium dirt cake. Uh, plain sword. And eagle sword. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Aha. So, let's pick everything up from him. I will get back to what I was doing, which is looking at all the wonderful stuff I just got. The stuff I just bought. This is the eagle sword I just bought from him. He just brought home. Uh, let's, uh, uh, let's leave it at that. There we go. Bop. And what else did we get? We got a bunch of arrows, which I think are for the uh, rogues. So, I'll stick those there. We got a bunch of plate helmets, which I need to increase the price on. There we go. We got a, weapon, a hat rack right here. Boom, boom, boom. And a boom. Very nice. Oh, I love this. This is so much better. I actually being able to buy hats. It, it It's my inner TF2. I love hats. <laughs> I've always loved hats. Hats are awesome. Okay, we got a bunch of plate gloves, which I'm going to stick inside one of these shelves, just like I did with the leather gloves. There we go. Bop, bop, bop. Uh, plate chest pieces. Let us just use the top row for plate chests and use the bottom row for plate pants. There we go. In fact, I can grab the plate pants I have on the other side, in the other room, and put them over here as well, once I get them. Okay, the boots. The boots. Oh, we have an entire table to fill up with these plate boots. These wonderful, beautiful plate boots. Yes. And it's just as annoying to get them in the back right there as it is with normal boots. And these two-handed swords. Look at the size of these things. Oh, this is going to be awesome. This is just going to be wonderful. Uh, and throwing stars. Where do I put throwing stars? Over here? Here we go. I'm guessing... Rogues like throwing stars because they like to be ninjas, or at least they like to pretend to be ninjas, even though ninjas suck. Huh. Okay, let's fill this up with plate shoulders because I think all those warriors are going to be happy that they can have their shoulders protected as long as, as well as their head protected with a nice plate. Look at this frost axe. Isn't this the same thing I had over there in the other room? I thought it was special. But no, it's just something you can buy. Oh, kind of a letdown there. But now we have leather belts, which I'm also going to stick in here. I didn't realize you could stick these on shelves. I've been just sticking them on uh, tables and stuff. But being able to put them on a shelf is fairly nice. Though it does make them look smaller than they actually are. Uh, okay, well, I think that's all the stuff I bought. Is there anything else good I got? No? Not well. But look at this! We have huge two-handed swords, massive axes, we've got shelves filled with belts of all kinds, plate gloves, plate shoulders, we actually got a bunch of stuff. Look at all this stuff. All this wonderful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Ah, oh, I love having stuff. So where's those arrows I just got? Bop. Let's just fill the rest of these tables up with arrows. In fact, let's fill this last stand with armor. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at this! Look at this! Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I'm so glad I bought this room when I did. But I am down to 20,000 gold after buying all this stuff. Oh, okay. Okay, I think that's long enough for th this week. I've been going for at least an hour and a half now. <laughs> so I need to repair stuff. I need to clean up. I need to restock all my normal items, which I'm, they're not really selling nearly as well as they used to. But still, uh, I still need to restock. 
and repair and all that kind of good stuff. So that's what I think I'm going to do here. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. This has been another week of Shopkeep. Another week of me having some fun, and we actually got some barbarians this time. I finally got the Thief Zapper thing. It's a nice green bar up here. Oh, so much good stuff this week. So much. And I got, fi and finally, finally these plate pants I've been getting will be useful and sold after all this time. Ha. Ah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson, and until next time, I will see you later. Bye.